Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. Illegally sacked Qantas staff are heading to the federal court seeking compensation. 1,700 jobs were illegally outsourced during the pandemic. The compensation hearing will last two weeks. The Australian Automobile Association is calling for road trauma data to be shared to see which state safety measures are most effective. Currently, information about the quality of roads and why crashes are occurring are kept in-house with each jurisdiction. The AAA Managing Director, Michael Bradley, says it's obviously not working. Australia's road toll increased 10% in the last 12 months. It's up 40% in New South Wales and 30% in South Australia. It's also up 12% in Victoria. These are terrible numbers that confirm that our current approach to road trauma reduction in this country is all wrong. With major mobile phone networks beginning their 3G phase-out, the government's raised major concerns about the accessibility of triple zero calls. Major telco companies are coordinating an industry-wide effort to avoid the problem with nearly one million Australians with older phones in the firing line. The Australian Medical Association is urging politicians to support the next phase of vaping legislation to be introduced to Parliament this week. It includes a ban on the domestic manufacture, supply, advertising and commercial possession of non-therapeutic vapes. Professor Steve Robson from the Australian Medical Association says the country's major health groups back the legislation. We know that vaping is largely about making money and profit for tobacco and other retailers. We have to make sure profit is off the table and public health and safety of the next generations is the thing we put at the forefront. And the AFL will today unveil the name, colours and logo of its newest team with the Devils the most likely. Tickets to the Hobart launch event sold out within minutes. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Manly has made it two from two to start the NRL season with a 21-14 win over the Roosters in front of a sellout crowd at Brookvale Oval. While the Dolphins have scored the biggest win in their short history, thumping the Dragons 38-0. And in AFL, Melbourne's hammered the Dogs by 45 points. Port has done likewise to West Coast, winning by 50. And Fremantle has had a 23-point win over last year's finalists, Brisbane. In entertainment news, June's part two is set to tip $500 million at the box office. The science fiction sequel is the highest grossing film of 2024, while Kung Fu Panda 4 has grossed more than $175 million globally in its first 10 days. And the King's speech writer David Seidler has died while fly fishing in New Zealand. The 86-year-old won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay for the 2010 movie that starred Colin Firth, Jeffrey Rush and Helena Bonham Carter. The film also also won Best Picture, Best Director and Best Actor. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.